Hey guys, and welcome to my Candy Barbarian class guide. In this guide, I will go over the Candy Barbarian's abilities, along with his stats, ally, flask, and emblems. The Candy Barb's passive is called Gumdrop, and when attacked, the Candy Barbarian will sometimes drop a rage-inducing Gumdrop, increasing attack speed and movement speed. It increases movement speed by 20, and attack speed by 100% for 4 seconds. The Candy Barb's right click is called Vanilla Swirlwind, and the Candy Barbarian spins around attacking all nearby foes and creating healing candy for himself. It heals for 10% of your HP and has a 6.5 times damage coefficient. You want to be holding down left click while you spam this ability for maximum DPS. The Candy Barb's number one is called Sugar Crash, and the Candy Barbarian leaps at enemies, dealing damage over an area and creating gumdrops. It has a 4.5 times damage coefficient. The Candy Barb's Clash Gem alters its number one by making Sugar Crash now leap straight up and crashes down, vacuuming enemies towards you and applying a brief snare. If you are ever tanking a Shadow Tower, this ability has some use to group up mobs, however it is very underwhelming in its current state, and it renders you completely useless if used for pool purposes. However, there is a bug that makes Clash Gem what I believe to be the correct way it should exist, but you're gonna have to Google that because I'm not gonna be showing that on camera. The Candy Barb's ultimate is called Ice Crumb Cone, and the Candy Barbarian drops a large ice cream cone dealing damage over an area, creating gumdrops, and dropping healing candies for allies. Once again, the healing candies heal 10% HP to all your party members, and has a 15 times damage coefficient with a 40 second cooldown. A very good trick that you can use with your ultimate is to hold it down without releasing and this will start its cooldown the second you start holding it, making it to where you can wait 40 seconds and start a fight with two ultimates right away. Make sure though that you space them out 4 seconds apart because the attack speed buff does not stack with one another. Moving on to gear, the best stats for the Candy Barbarian's weapons are critical damage, critical hit, and energy regen. The best stats for the Candy Barb's face is critical damage, physical damage, and attack speed. The best stats for the Candy Barb's hat are critical damage, percentage HP, and attack speed. The best stats for the Candy Barbarian's rings are physical damage and energy regen. And finally, the best stats for the Candy Barbarian's gems are physical damage, critical hit, and critical damage, with two gems replacing a stat with percentage HP, and four gems replacing a stat with maximum health. It doesn't really matter too much about which damage stats that you replace, as long as you don't take off the same stat on all gems. For example, all 6 stats that you replace must not be critical hit. Just make sure that you split it between physical damage, critical hit, and critical damage. If you are farming Uber Worlds, you can switch the 3rd stat on your hat to Magic Fine, along with your ring. Next up, the best ally for the Candy Barbarian is Rap Berserker, and finally the best Flask and Emblems are Chaos File, Sure Strike Emblem, and Martial Emblem. If you are above 90% Critical Hit, you will swap Chaos File with Vial of Minion Multiplication, and Sure Strike with Beamer Emblem. If you are farming Uber Worlds, you will use Conjurer's Vial, and finally, if you are tanking Dawn of the Moon, you may want to use Death Defying Vial if you find yourself dying to her transitions. And that's going to be it for this guide. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see you guys next time.